or what are multi row subqueries if subquery returns more than one value then it is called multi row subquery if subquery returns more than one value then it is called multi row subquery so if it returns single value it is called single row subquery if it returns multiple values then it is called multi row subquery <clears throat> okay then <clears throat> now <clears throat> now so syntax wise same select columns from table name next one where column name operator select statement syntax wise same single row multi row syntax wise same <clears throat> okay but this query returns how many values multiple this query returns multiple if this query returns multiple then it is called multi row subquery okay <clears throat> well if it is multi row subquery what operators are used to compare multiple values what are the operators op must be what like is used to compare with single value after like we can't write multiple values in operator op must be in not in any all op must be in not in any all okay op must be in not in any all <clears throat> So all these operators use it to compare multiple. Multiple means like this: one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> this is multiple. But after like what we write? After like you write something as percentage. This is multiple values. After like, can you write multiple values? No, you write single <clears throat> pattern. Next one between. Can we write multiple values after between between hundred and five hundred? <clears throat> no, this is not multiple value. This is range. So then, which operators use it to compare multiple in not in any of? <clears throat> yeah. So subquery returns multiple. So these are the operators use it to compare multiple values. No. <clears throat> For example, like uh, suppose here you see the table select start from EMP, not EMP, DEPT, select start from DEPT, department table, then <clears throat> department table, select start from DEPT. Now I want to see the employees working at New York location, Chicago location. Okay, then. So display employees working at what New York comma Chicago locations. Okay, employees working at <coughs> New York, comma, Chicago locations. Oh, <clears throat> and what? Select what star 
from EMP. Next one, where there is no location in EMP table. Location is not there in EMP table. If location is there in EMP table, <clears throat> there is no need of subquery. <clears throat> then what is there in EMP table is <clears throat> department number is there. Select start from EMP. You see that what is there in EMP table? Department number is there. Okay, now department number. Then, so now uh, department number is there. Okay. Then, so like our condition cannot be based on location. Condition is based on what department number, department number, then uh, what department number should be equals to what New York comma Chicago department numbers. Okay, now department number should be equals to New York and Chicago department members. You know New York and Chicago department members. You know New York Chicago department members. You don't know. Then when you don't know, write a query. Write a query. Uh, what is the query? What is the query to select the department members of these two locations? Select department number from from department locations are there in department table where where what where location in what is this is new york comma like this okay <clears throat> then so department number should be in a emp table location is not there what is there department number is there so department number should be equals to new york and chicago department numbers then which is executed first inner query is executed first what the inner query returns so inner query returns what okay then first sql server executes inner query this is executed first so what is this return is 1030 maybe new york department number is what 10 chicago department number is what 30 that means this whole query is replaced with two values 10 comma 30. next outer query selects are from emp department number in 10 comma 30. so outer query selects all the employees working for 10 30 departments outer query selects all the employees working for 10 and 30. okay now what is 10 and 30 is new york and chicago department numbers so let me run this so it is showing selecting the employees working for 10 selecting employees working for 30. understood <clears throat> that's all so what is this sub query is called what is this sub query is called the sub query is called multi row sub query because this query returns one value now multiple multiple values everything is same only this operator changes if it is one value you can use equal greater than less than but if it is multiple values you must use in Okay, next. <clears throat> mm. Next one.
next let's see <clears throat> but here what is the operator we are using in so we can also use what any all okay then when we use any what is the any operator okay then sir actually when we use in when we use in multiple only but when we use in equal to comparison with multiple department number should be equal to 10 comma 30 equal to comparison with multiple we use what in in greater than less than comparison with multiple we use any or equal to comparison with multiple then equal to comparison with multiple in operator greater than less than comparison with multiple then any all okay now then <clears throat> use any operator use any operator for greater than less than comparison with multiple values use any operator for greater than less than comparison with multiple values <clears throat> use any operator for greater than less than comparison with multiple values okay then what <clears throat> greater than less than comparison with multiple values so use what any operator now <clears throat> okay then <clears throat> like this where where column name any sorry greater than any then what okay now greater than any just select statement the select statement returns multiple values similarly less than any greater than less than you can use greater than or you can use less than so greater than less than comparison with multiple values one second for example just to like you just see this where x greater than x is a column just x greater than any 1000, 2000, 3000. Then tell me when this condition will be true. This condition will be true if x value is greater than any. This condition will be true if x value is greater than what? Any. Okay, now this condition will be true if x value is greater than what? Any. So x equals to x equals to 800 then uh, x equal to 800 800 is less than any sorry x value greater than no? is 800 is greater than any no so false x value is 1500 1500 is greater than any yes it's greater than 1000 condition what so x value is 4500 then 4500 is any yes what is that is like two it is greater than any 4500 is greater than any any means at least one any means what at least one so if it is greater than thousand or if it is greater than two thousand or if it is greater than three thousand select true condition true okay so 800 is greater than any no 1500 is greater than any yes it's greater than 1000 4500 is greater than any yes it's greater than all the three values now <clears throat> suppose where x less than any 1000 2000 3000 then when this condition will be true x equal to 800 then condition true because 
Eight hundred is less than any. Yes, it is less than all. X value fifteen hundred. <clears throat> fifteen hundred is less than any. Yes, fifteen hundred is less than two thousand. True. Four thousand five hundred is less than any. False. Four thousand five hundred is not less than any. False. Okay, eight hundred is less than all. True. Fifteen hundred is less than. Fifteen hundred is less than what? Two thousand, two thousand and three thousand. True. Four thousand five hundred is less than any. No, not less than any. False. That's. All. <clears throat> Next one. Okay. Ah. <clears throat> oh. What well, the next one is all all operator. All operator. Ah, uh, what is all operator is? <clears throat> what is all? Okay, what is all operator? <clears throat> Then, <clears throat> so use <clears throat> all operator for greater than, less than comparison with multiple values. This is also used for same purpose, but any means at least one. All means compulsory. All. Any means at least one. Okay, then. So use all operator for greater than, less than comparison with multiple values. Okay, then. <clears throat> Now. For example, where x greater than all, x greater than all thousand, two thousand, three thousand, x greater than all. Suppose if x value equal to eight hundred, then x value equal to eight hundred, then x equal to eight hundred. Is eight hundred is greater than all? Is eight hundred is greater than all? No. Condition false. Condition false. X value is fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred is greater than all. No. And four thousand five hundred. True. Four thousand five hundred. True. Four thousand five hundred is greater than all. Yes. Any means at least one. All means it should be greater than all the values. Next, <clears throat> next one. Where x less than what all thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Then, ah, uh, x less than all thousand, two thousand, three thousand. Then, x value is eight hundred. Then, so eight hundred is less than all. Yes, x value fifteen hundred. False. X value two thousand. Then <clears> three <throat> thousand. Then false. Three thousand is not less than all the values. <clears throat> okay. Eight hundred is less than all the values. Yes. True. Fifteen hundred is less than all the values. No. Three thousand is less than all the values. Four thousand five hundred. Let's say four thousand five hundred. Four thousand five hundred. Four thousand five hundred is less than all the values. No. Okay. Then. That's all. Okay.
ఓకే నా సో ఫర్ మల్టీ వాల్యూ కంపారిజన్ ఫర్ మల్టీ వాల్యూ కంపారిజన్ విచ్ ఆపరేటర్స్ వి యూస్ ఫర్ మల్టిపుల్ వాల్యూస్ కంపారిజన్ వి యూస్ త్రీ వర్ ద త్రీ ఇన్ ఎనీ ఆల్ ఫర్ మల్టీ వాల్యూ కంపారిజన్ వి యూస్ త్రీ ఇన్ ఎనీ ఆల్ ఓకే ఈక్వల్ టు కంపారిజన్ విత్ మల్టిపుల్ ఇన్ ఆపరేటర్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ కంపారిజన్ విత్ మల్టిపుల్ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ ఎనీ గ్రేటర్ దాన్ ఆల్ లెస్ దాన్ కంపారిజన్ విత్ మల్టిపుల్ లెస్ దాన్ ఎనీ లెస్ దాన్ ఆల్ నాట్ ఈక్వల్ టు కంపారిజన్ విత్ మల్టిపుల్ నాట్ ఇన్ ఓకే దెన్ దట్స్ ఆల్ సో లైక్ సపోజ్ ఇయర్ నో నెక్స్ట్ so this is what is this is this is like how to use any all for example i am asking display employees earning more than all managers i want to find employees who are earning more than all managers that means employee salary must be greater than all the managers employee salary must be greater than what all managers then what find out the employees who are earning more than all managers so if employee salary is greater than all the managers then select okay then how to write this query select what start from emp where what salary should be greater than select start from emp salary greater than salary should be greater than what all the manager salaries salary should be greater than all the managers but you know all the managers then all but you know manager salaries we don't know then write a query when you don't know the value write a query uh, then what no which class you want sql this, this is not new class this is old class ah uh, select what select sal from emp then select sal from emp ah uh, what select sal from emp where where job equals to what managers because one manager salary is now then job equal to managers so select start from emp salary greater than all this <clears throat> then okay so what is executed first what is executed first sub query is executed first sub query is executed first what is the sub query returns manager salaries what are the manager salaries <coughs> then not there huh? okay one second maybe the table is changed let's drop the table and recreate the table this is bus <clears throat> you tell me can we use roll back can we use roll back hmm? <clears throat> hmm? can we use roll back now you already lend bus you should not ask then <clears throat> ah then <clears throat> yet by default sql server runs in auto commit you cannot roll back it okay na then now the see this like okay now table is created then 
table is created. Now let's see this. Execute this query. Execute this query. Then, what is this query? See this. This query gives what manager salaries. There are three managers. One is two nine seven five two eight five zero two four five zero. So what this gives? All the manager salaries. Okay, na all the manager salaries. Now this whole thing is replaced with three values. What are the three values? Two eight two nine seven five two eight two four five zero. Now it go to the employee table. It go to the employee table. So it go to one by one record. What are the first employee salary? Eight hundred. Is eight hundred is greater than all the values? No. Next sixteen hundred is greater than all the values. No. Next two nine seven five. Is greater than all the values? No. Next uh, twelve fifty. No. Next one three thousand. Three thousand is greater than all the values. Yes. Five thousand is greater than all the values. Yes. So then it will return all the employees who are earning more than all. So this three thousand, five thousand, three thousand. Okay. So there are three employees who are earning more than all managers. So Scott Ford King. Okay. Then next, got it. Then <clears throat> so first uh, this is executed. This gives manager salaries. Outer query selects employees whose salary greater than all the values. <clears throat> Now, if I ask like this, what is display employees earning more than at least one manager? Otherwise, you note down like this because. This is executed first. <clears throat> What the output of this is two nine seven five two eight five zero two four five zero. So display implies more than at least one manager. I want to find out employees who are earning more than at least one manager. If employee salary is greater than at least one manager salary. Select same thing, then but <clears throat> instead of all, use what any any any. Okay. <clears throat> Here also, <clears throat> first this is this is executed first. <clears throat> Then <clears throat> next two nine seven five two eight five zero two four five zero. Okay, one employee's salary is one employee's salary is two nine seven five. One of the employee salary two nine seven five selected or not selected? Huh? Selected two nine seven five is greater than any? Yes, it's greater than what two four and two eight. One employee salary is two eight five zero. <clears throat> selected or not selected? Two eight five zero is greater than two four five zero. It should be greater than at least one. One employee salary three thousand. Selected one employee salary five thousand. <laughs> Select. So the value salary should be greater than at least one. That is what any means. <clears throat> okay, any means like this. <clears throat> so two nine seven five two eight three thousand five thousand three thousand. Okay, na. Then all these employees are what <clears throat> earning more than what all these employees earning more than all the managers. Okay, then. <clears throat>
next. <clears throat> so that's all. This is any all in. Okay. <clears throat> so single value comparison, multi value comparison. Sir, equal to comparison with multiple values, then equal to comparison with multiple, then in. <clears throat> Next, greater than comparison with multiple, then greater than any, greater than all, less than comparison with multiple, less than any, <clears throat> less than all, that's all. Hey, oh, understood. <clears throat> So this is what <clears throat> then any and what set all. <clears throat> now this is multi row sub queries. What changes is only operator changes. Single row use equal greater than less than. Multi use in greater than any less than any greater than all less than all like that. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> what the next one is. What are the next? Huh? Next one. What are the next one is? Correlated subqueries. <clears throat> Correlated subqueries. Oh, <clears throat> sir, the subqueries we have written till now, all these subqueries are one category, correlated subqueries are different category. The up to now, the subqueries we have written, all these subqueries are one type, correlated subqueries are different type. So, why? Because, just see, sir, here, up to now, the subqueries you have written, okay? You return subqueries, select, select like this, which is executed first, inner query, inner query is executed first and inner query executes how many times, inner query is executed how many times, one time, which query takes value, which query takes value, outer query takes value from inner query. Which query takes value? Outer query. Outer query takes value from inner query. Okay, then. So first SQL server executes inner query. Inner query is executed one time. And outer query takes value from inner query. This is what normal subquery execution. If it is a correlated subquery, then if it is a correlated subquery, then what here? If it is a correlated subquery, then execution starts from what? Outer query. Execution starts from outer query. And inner query is not executed once, executed number of times. Inner query is executed how many times? Number of times, multiple times. How many times inner query is executed? Depends on number of rows written by outer query. If outer query returns 14 rows, inner query is executed what? 14 times. If outer query returns 20 rows, 
inner core is executed what 20 times so how many times inner core is executed depends on number of rows written by outer query next one here which query takes value in normal sub query always outer query takes value but in correlated sub query first inner query takes value from outer query inner query takes value from outer query and inner query is executed and gives value to outer query inner query takes value from outer query executed and gives value to outer query so this is what correlated sub query okay na this is correlated sub query got it <clears throat> then so why this is correlated because both queries are taking value from one another inner query is taking value from outer outer query is taking value from inner both queries are taking values from one another that is the reason this is called what correlated sub query okay correlated sub query so what is the definition of correlated okay then if inner query references values of outer query refers if inner query refers values of outer query then it is called correlated sub query if inner query references values of outer query then it is called correlated sub query okay then <clears throat> okay, no? so if it is a correlated sub query in correlated sub query execution starts from outer query and inner query is executed multiple times depends on depends on number of rows written by outer query so inner query is executed multiple times depends on number of rows written by outer query okay then <clears throat> next so when we use correlated use correlated sub queries to execute sub query for each row written by outer query you want to execute sub query only one time go for normal sub query you want to execute the sub query for every row go for correlated <clears throat> okay okay now <clears throat> sir yeah see <clears throat> this is this is what some like a sub query this is sub query okay <clears throat> so but this sub query like once again what is the sub query gives the sub query gives value the sub query gives what value you want this value from the whole table then you okay, cannot you want uh, this value for the whole table you want this value then execute only one time but you want this value for every employee okay na 
you want this value for every employee every row for every row you want this value then correlated because you have to execute this sub query for every row every employee you want to execute this sub query if you want to execute this sub query for every employee then go for correlated but you want to execute only one time then normal sub query okay now <clears throat> so let's see one example here actually sir here in correlated sub queries what the execution is execution execution is then <clears throat> so first what <clears throat> what sql server returns a row from what outer query returns a row from outer query first it returns a row from outer query next pass value to what inner query pass value to inner query next one executes what executes what sir inner query executes inner query next one after executing the inner query it gives a value now the value is passed to outer query okay na? then so return what value so return inner query output to outer query okay then so inner query inner query output is passed to is passed to what outer query fifth one execute outer query where condition that's <clears throat> so this is the steps it follows sql server follow these steps so return zero from outer query pass value to inner query execute the inner query inner query output is passed to outer query execute the outer query where condition okay <clears throat> okay <clears throat> no <clears throat> next <clears throat> okay then ah, now let's see what let's see one example let's see the example what is emp emp envo e name salary department number <clears throat> so suppose 3000 department number is 10 employee to be salaries okay 4000 department number is 20 next employee 3 name is c salaries okay 5000 department number is 30 <clears throat> and 4 d salary is 6000 department number is 10 and 5 e salary is 3000 department number is 20 this is the table <clears throat> okay Okay, no? this is the table <clears throat> now um, <clears throat> from this table okay from this table what i want is i want to see the employees earning more than average salary of their department I want to find out the employees earning more than average salary of their department. Find the employees earning more than 
average salary of their department. <clears throat> Oh, what? Hmm? What? Earning more than average salary, then select what? Start. Bus. Be clear, bus. I'm not asking to display average salary. You, you see average salary, then you say select average salary. That's all. Here. It's not like that. You have to understand the query. Read the complete query, understand what is asking to display. You see only this one, average salary. Then you say select average salary. I'm not asking to display average salary. Display the one, employees. Employees start from EMP. <clears throat> Where? I'm not asking all the employees. I'm asking only the employees earning more than average salary of their department. Employee's salary should be greater than average salary of his department. One second, let's go to this one. What is the salary of this employee? 3000 is working for 10th department. What is the 10th department average salary? 10th department average salary. 10th department average salary. There are two employees, 3,000, 6,000. What is the average? 9,000 by 2, 4,500. So what is the 10th department average salary is 4,500. So tell me, is this employee earning more than average salary of his department? No, don't select. He's not earning more than average salary of his department. Don't select. Let's go to this one. What is the salary? 4,000. Is working for 20 years. What is the 20 year department average salary? Huh? 3,000. 4,000 plus 3,000. 4,000 plus 3,000. 7,000 by 2, 3,500. Is he earning more than average salary of his department? Yes. yes. Select. And go to the next one. 30 year. What is the average salary? 5,000 because there is only one employee. So average salary is also 5,000. Is earning more than average salary? No, don't select. And go to the next one. <coughs> salary is what? 6,000. Is working for 10. What is the 10th department average salary? 4,500. Is earning more than average salary of his department? Yes, select. Then what is the average salary? 3,000. 20. 20th is 3,500. Is earning more than? No, don't select. Right. Now tell me, for every employee, what we have to compare? Average salary of not in the whole organization. Not in the whole organization. Average salary of department. So, suppose like salary should be greater than. Uh, salary should be greater than what? Average salary. Select what? average salary from EMP. But if you write like this, what it just gives average salary of whole organization. Once again, this command gives the average salary of whole organization. Then what it will do? 3000 plus 4000 plus 5000, 12,000, 18,000, 21,000 by 5. 21,000 by 5. Okay, now. Uh, then something, 4,000 point something. Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay, na? Then, so, but I am not asking average salary of all table. Don't compare employee's salary with average salary of all organization. You have to compare employee's salary with what? Department average salary. If he's working for 10, and you have to compare with 10th department average salary. If employee working for 20, Compare with 20th. If employee working for 30, compare with what? 30th. Uh, then what? 19. Group by will not work. Group by gives all. Group by gives what? If you say group by department member, then it gives 
average salaries of all the departments say so select what average salary from emp what group by department number then it gives average salaries of all the three but i don't want all the three i want uh, suppose you are your first employee then it should calculate 10th department if you go to second record it should calculate 20th if you go to third record it should calculate 30th department average salary then what <clears throat> so how to in inner query should return okay na the employee okay na average salary of what employee department the inner query should return like average salary of employee department if employee belongs to 10 10 employee belongs to 20 20 in inner query how to access the employee department number sir if you give where department number equals to 10 then what only 10 always you are comparing all the employees salary with what average salary of what 10th department but you should not compare with average salary of 10th department you should compare with average salary of what that to compare okay na salary with average salary of what employee employee belongs to 10 here it should be 10 employee belongs to 20 it should be 20 employee belongs to 30 it should be 30 yes or no uh, how to access the employee department number to access employee department number then take as x emp as what sir x what is x is elias then here say x dot department number say x dot department number so what is this x dot department number gives employee department if employee belongs to 10 x dot department number is 10 employee belongs to 20 x dot department number is 20 listen when you submit this query to sql server first sql server checks whether this query is normal sub query or correlated sub query first it checks whether it is a normal or correlated sub query so tell me this is normal sub query or correlated sub query correlated why it is correlated because what the definition i have given if inner query what <coughs> if inner query references values of outer query then it is called what correlated sub query you see this inner query inner query is referring the x dot department number tell me x dot department number is coming from where outer query x is the alias declared for outer query table x dot department number means this value is coming from outer query <coughs> so inner query is referring the values of outer query if inner query refers values of outer query then it is called correlated sub query if it is a correlated sub query execution starts from outer query execution starts from outer query so it go to the first record this is the first record it go to the first record of this table this is the first record <laughs> okay na? this is the first record uh, then what is the condition sorry go to the first record of emp table this is the first record apply the condition salary greater than what is the salary 3000 greater than uh, then what select average salary from emp department number equal to x dot department number now where department number equals to what is x dot department number <coughs> x dot department number means how much now so here this is current row okay na this is what sir at present it is checking the where condition for this row na now sql server checking the where condition for this row x dot employee number means 1 x dot e name means a x dot salary means 3000 x dot department number means 10 x dot means current row values if you want to refer the current row values x x is the alias na x dot x dot means current row values x dot department number what 10 ah uh, now what is the 10th department average salary 
what is the 10th department average salary 4500 3000 is greater than 4500 condition false not selected and go to next record you see this execution it go to second record then what is the condition salary greater than what is the salary 4000 now sub query is executed where department number equal to now this time what is x dot department number now this is current row now x dot department number means what 20 what is the 20th department average salary 3500 so is 4000 is greater than 3500 as condition true selected next one and go to next record go to next record then so salary what is the salary 5000 greater than now sub query is executed what is that is where then where what department number equals to 30 what is the 30th department average salary 5000 so is 5000 greater than 5000 condition false not selected and go to fourth record this is the fourth record okay go to fourth record then what is the condition salary greater than what is the salary 6000 greater than execute the sub query where department number equals to 10 what is the 10th department average salary 4500 is 6000 is greater than 4500 yes condition true selected next go to next record fifth one go to next record fifth one so what is the condition salary greater than 3000 greater than execute the sub query where what department number equals to x dot department number what is the x dot department number 20 what is the 20th department average salary 3500 is 3000 greater than 3500 no condition false not selected so tell me how many times sub query is executed five times because how many rows are there five rows Okay. Okay. <clears throat> So, 
<clears throat> for example if i ask what who are earning more than average salary i'll ask like this then who are earning more than average salary average of all table average of all organization sub queries required or not? sorry uh, correlated sub queries required or not so you have to write like this what is select star from emp where salary should be greater than <clears throat> what select what set average salary from emp you are comparing employee salary with average salary of whole organization suppose sometimes i'll ask clicks employee sending more than average salary of 10th department then then 10th department uh, then what so here you have to write what where what department number equals to 10 you are comparing employee salary with 10th department average salary but here what i'm asking average salary of what set the department <laughs> what is the meaning average salary of their department means if employee belongs to 10th department you have to compare with what 10th department average salary if employee belongs to 20 you have to compare with what 20th department average salary if employee belongs to 30 compare with 30th department average salary understood that means inner query should calculate which department average salary inner query should calculate which department average salary it depends on what employee department if employees 10th department calculate 10th department if employee 20th calculate 20th that means what should be the department number employee department how to access the employee department in inner query how to access the employee department so declare alias here x use that alias x dot department number what is x dot department number gives employee department if employee belongs to 10 x dot department number is 10 if employee belongs to 20 x dot department number is 20 understood then now so just execute this what is this gives this gives what then let me run this what this gives all the employees what's it earning what more than average salary okay <clears throat> so maybe is ending more than average salary of 10 is ending more than average salary of 20 these two employees ending more than average salary of what 30 understood now then so why this is called correlated subquery it's differing the values of what outer query x dot department number is coming from where x dot department number is coming from where outer query so inner query is referring the values of what outer query if inner query refers values of outer then it is called correlated subquery okay next then next one oh what i want is suppose like same thing employees what earning maximum salary in their department employees earning maximum salary in their department <clears throat> okay who are earning maximum salary in their department in 10th department who is earning maximum 20th who is earning maximum 30th who is earning maximum i want that employees that means what then so what we have to do compare the employee salary equal to what maximum what we are doing comparing if employee's salary is equal to maximum salary of his department if salary equals to maximum salary of his department okay then
Ok. You know, no. <clears throat> so it also <clears throat> then how how it executes the same way. Then what it go to first seeker. <clears throat> it go to the first seeker. Then what salary equals to what the salary three thousand equal to then. Then this query is executed. Select max cell from EMP where department number equals to what? Where department number equals to X dot department number. So X dot department number is what? X dot department number is what? 10. What is the 10th department maximum salary? 10th <laughs> department maximum salary, 6,000. Is 3,000 equal to 6,000? False. Then. First row is completed. Go to second row. Go to second row. It go to second row. What is the salary? 4,000. 4,000 equal to where department number equals to what is the department number? 20. What is the 20th department maximum salary? 4,000. So is uh, 4,000 equal to 4,000 as condition? selected next go to next c card this is 30th third record what is the condition uh, what is the salary salary is what 5000 equal to where department number equal to x dot department number now what is x dot department number 30 so what is the 30th department maximum salary 5,000. 5,000 equal to 5,000 as condition true. Okay. So here in this query, every employee's salary compared with what? Maximum salary of his department. In previous example, every employee's salary compared with average salary of his department. But we are comparing employee's salary with maximum salary of his department. Next, go to next C-card. Four. Then what? This is fourth record. Uh, then, so what is the condition salary? What is the salary? 6,000 equal to where department number equal to 10. What is the 10th department maximum? 6,000. Condition what? True. Selected. Next, go to next one. Fifth one. Fifth one. Then, so what is the condition? 3,000. 3,000 equals to where department number equals to 20. What is the 20th department maximum salary? 4,000. So condition what? False, not selected. Okay. Okay, then <clears throat> now run this. Then so this King is earning maximum in 10, Scott and Ford is earning maximum in 20, Blake is earning maximum in 30. In 10th department, King is the highest paid. Ford and Scott earning maximum in 20, Blake is earning maximum in 30. 
So employees earning maximum salary in their department. Okay, then. <clears throat> so these two examples are what? Correlated subqueries, correlated subqueries. No. <clears throat> so one question, what that is display top three maximum salaries. One method already, you know, top, leave it, that one. Okay, now, then. <clears throat> uh, display top three maximum salaries. Okay, and then one method, top method, like leave it, there is a limitation with top. Okay, now. Ah, so how to get the top three maximum salaries? Okay, then one second. Suppose here salaries are like this. Just see, salaries are like this. One salary is five thousand. One salary is thousand. One salary three thousand. One salary two thousand. One salary. Okay, 4,000 like this. Salaries are like this. From this, what do you want? Top three maximum. Okay, that. So just go to 5,000. Go to 5,000. Check this 5,000 is less than how many values? 5,000 is less than how many values? Listen, 5,000 is less than how many salaries? No salary. Select 5,000. It not, it's, it's not less than any salary means it is first maximum. It's not less than any value means it is first maximum. Select 5,000. 4,000 less than how many? One. It is less than one means it is second maximum. Select 4,000. 3,000 less than how many? 2. It is less than 2 means it is third maximum. Select 3,000. 2,000 is less than how many? 3. It is less than 3 means it is fourth maximum. Don't select 2,000 because I'm asking top 3. 1,000 less than how many? 4. It is less than 4 values means it is fifth maximum. Don't select 1,000. 5,000 less than how many? 0. Then select 5,000. First maximum. 4,000 less than how many? 1. Means second maximum. Select 4,000. 3,000 less than how many? 2. Means third maximum. Select 3,000. 2,000 less than how many? 3. Means fourth maximum. Don't select 2,000. 1,000 less than how many? 4. Means fifth maximum. Don't select. Because I'm asking top 3. Then how? That means what you have to compare? Every employee's salary should be compared with what? Other, every employee's salary. Check the salary is less than how many values? You check this 5,000 is less than how many? 4,000 is less than how many? 3,000 is less than how many? Check. Okay. So if it is not less than any, select. Less than one, select. Less than two, select. Okay. Then, <clears throat> how to write the query? We have to write the query like this. First, see this because I'll change this. Select what? Then, one second from EMPA. What do you want to show? Salaries. A dot salary where three greater than select what? Select what's it? Count. Count of what? B dot salary from EMPB where a dot cell less than b dot cell but i'll change this i'll change this query <clears throat> then so like see this ah oh. here i'm taking two a b but a b are based on both a and b are based on what emp table only 
EMP table. So let's say EMP A, EMP B. But just understanding I'm taking two. But in database, how many tables are there? One table. So one is 5,000. It also 5,000. Then one is 1,000. It also 1,000. Salary is 1,000. Here what? 3,000. It also 3,000. Next 2,000. 2,000. <clears throat> 4,000. It also 4,000. Okay, salaries are like this. Uh, now, and tell me, this is normal subquery na, correlated subquery na. Correlated. Why? Why it is called correlated? Simple. A dot sal is coming from outer query. Inner query is referring the values of outer query. A dot sal is, is table belongs to Outer query table. A dot sal is outer query value. So inner query is referring the values of outer query. Then it is called correlated. If it is a correlated, execution starts from <coughs> outer query. It goes to the first seeker. What is the condition? What is the condition? Three greater than. You understand why I given three greater than? Because I want top three. So I given three greater than. Three greater than. From EMPB, where A dot sal less than B dot sal. What is A dot sal? You are at first card, boss. Execution starts from outer query table, EMPA table. It go to the first card, apply the condition. A dot sal means 5,000. 5,000 less than B dot sal. B dot sal means all the salaries of B table. 5,000 less than 5,000. It is compared with A dot sal is compared with all the salaries of B table. 5,000 less than 5,000? No. 1,000? No. 3,000? No. 2,000? No. 4,000? No. How many rows satisfying this condition? How many rows satisfying this condition? Zero. What is the count of B dot sal? That means how many values in B table satisfying this condition? Zero. What is the count value? Zero. 3 greater than 0. Yeah. This inner query done 0 bars. 3 greater than 0. Yes, condition true. Condition true. So that means 5000 is selected or not selected? Selected. selected. And go to next one. No. Go to next one. Next you got. Apply the same condition. 3 greater than. Next one. EMPB where A dot cell less than B dot cell. What is the A dot cell? 1000. 1000 is compared with all the salaries of B table. 1000 is less than 5000? Yes. 1000? No. 3000? Yes. 2000? Yes. 4000? Yes. How many values satisfying this condition in B table? How many values satisfying this condition? Four values. What is the count of B dot cell? Four. Three greater than four? False. So 1000 is selected or not selected? Not selected. Not selected. Go to next one. 3000 apply the condition 3 greater than a dot sal less than b dot sal <coughs> 3000 so 3000 a dot sal means 3000 3000 is less than b dot sal 5000 yes 5000 3000 is less than 5000 yes 1000 no 3000 no 2000 no 4000 yes how many values satisfying this condition two values then 3 greater than 2 yes condition true selected next go to next c card three greater than then uh, select count b where a dot cell is then b dot cell what is a dot cell 2000 2000 is less than 5000 yes 1000 no 3000 yes 2000 no 4000 yes how many values three values three greater than three false three greater than three false and 4000 next go to the 4000 Apply the condition. What is the condition? 3 greater than. Now EMPB. A dot cell. What is the A dot cell? 4000. 4000 less than 5000? Yes. 1000? No. 3000? No. 2000? No. 4000? No. How many values satisfying? 1. 3 greater than 1? Yes. Condition what? True. Condition true. Yes. That's all.
okay now then so let me run this query this query gives what 5000 3000 3000 it's not giving top three it is giving top two because there are two employees sending what three thousand there are two employees sending three thousand eliminate the duplicates how to eliminate the duplicates eliminate the duplicates in counting counting also eliminate the duplicates in the output also eliminate the duplicates this is counting this is displaying in counting also eliminate the duplicates in display also eliminate the duplicates how to eliminate the duplicates in counting don't count all the values count only distinct values don't count duplicates then apply what distinct so only distinct values are counted duplicates are not counted here also apply the distinct in output then now let me run this then okay then now see here 5000 3000 what is this is top three maximum salaries but i want to display this in descending order then order by salary descending order by salary descending 5000 3000 2975 okay then okay Five three two nine seven five. Top three maximum salaries. so here comparing the salaries less than how many salaries the salary is not less than any salary means first maximum salary is less than one salary means it is second maximum salary is less than two salaries means it is third maximum okay then like that <clears throat> Now, I want fifth to maximum, then five greater than. I want fifth to maximum, five greater than. 5,000, 3,000, 2, 9, 2, 8. If you say five greater than, what is selected? Count zero is selected. Count zero means? Count zero means first maximum. Count one is selected? Yes, second maximum. Count two? Yes. Count three? Yes. Count four? Yes. Count 0, count 1, count 2, count 3, count 4. Count 0 means first maximum. Count 1 means second maximum. Count 2 means third. Count 3 means fourth. Count 4 means fifth. So this will select top 5 maximums. If I say 3, then top 3. 
0, count 0, count 1, count 2. Uh, greater than or equal to then count 3 also selected. That means it will return 4. Okay, then. So there is a confusion. Yes, sir. You write 3, but it will give top 4. Now, got it? Then. <clears throat> But I'll ask only third maximum. Display third maximum. Then display third maximum. That's what here I what I'm saying count to zero. Count to zero means count to zero means first to maximum. Count to one means second maximum count to two means third maximum count to zero count to zero count to zero then count to zero means first maximum count to zero means first maximum count to one means second maximum count to two means third maximum yes if you want third maximum you have to give in soft writing 2, okay, then better 3 minus 1. If you write 3 minus 1, 3 minus 1 means 2 only, but easy to understand. 3 minus 1. So then if you want third maximum, you write 3 minus 1. Here you write 3. If you write 3 here, then third maximum. Yes. If you write fifth, fifth maximum, then uh, if you want fifth maximum, then in soft 3, what? Like that's why listen, listen this. Okay, now third maximum you are written three minus one. Okay, now three minus one means two. Count to two means third maximum. Count to zero means first maximum. Count to one means second maximum. Count to two means third maximum. Instead of writing two, I written three minus one. Okay, this gives third maximum. If you want fifth maximum. Instead of 3, 5. Instead of 3, 5. Then you'll get 5th maximum. You want 10th maximum. Instead of 5, 10. 10. Just change this value. If you change this value, then you want 10th maximum. Here you write n. You want 3rd maximum. Then 3. You want 1st maximum. 1. 1 minus 1. 0. Count 0 means 1st maximum. Yes. Yes or no? Then. So this is easy. Here you, you have to change only this value. You want 10th maximum, give that n value here. So this is not possible using top. Using top, you can get only top three, top five, but fifth maximum, no. Okay. That is not possible by using top class, but using this query, you can get anything. Top three, top five, fifth, tenth, anything you can get. <clears throat> Okay. Okay then. So we'll continue this tomorrow.